All right. Are you guys are gonna get your wish. That's right, Clyde. Now, before I can do anything with that guy, I gotta clean up a little bit because I gotta turn it a little bit. Yep, that. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit. Enjoy the ride, kids. I'm gonna clear some space for your best friend, Clyde. I know I'm gonna need this. That should do it. I think. No, I found some more transmission fluid on the floor. Okay, well, I'm gonna show you what we got and what we're doing. And Let's see in a minute. One thing that's really great is you're gonna work on a car, a carburetor that if you don't, if you don't like the air cleaner. You can take it off. Oh, that's so much better. Anyway, we're gonna use this as the work table, and. Uh, See what we got here. We're gonna need. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And okay. Just this. Anyway, I'm just gonna say. We're gonna get. Um, we should get some things pulled off of here. And uh, I'm gonna get, like I said, I'm gonna get set up and uh, hopefully. We'll get this off and we'll just get this set down in this place today. And I'm gonna get you right about here so you can see what we're doing. Because everyone loves Clyde. Yeah, you know what? I haven't figured it out. You guys tell me. Uh, anyway, I don't, oh, here are my gloves. Yeah, because I just sort of stopped wrong lately. Oh, so, I need some tools and uh, woo. Okay, so first thing we're gonna, one of the first things we're gonna need, half inch socket. Um, we're gonna get, oh, here, let me, let me turn it so you can see them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right there. Gonna need that bucket, because I like to put, Things in the way. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna need small wrenches. Yeah. Not too bad though. I don't think. But yeah, that's all we should need, really. They're pretty small. They're probably like three eighths or five sixteenths. Let's see if we got them. Oh, the wrenches. Uh, this is good. That's a little good. Nope, not that one. How about it's three eighths? Give me eleven thirty seconds. Let's try those. 
Better not be metric. You know what, Clyde? Would be metric, wouldn't it? Wouldn't he? Wouldn't he? All right, so let's... Let's make it so you guys can see. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I have a flat tip screwdriver under somewhere. Right now, that is a three eighths. No, why not? Just fantastic. They double nutted everything, which, hey, that's not bad, but it's not what I want right now, I'll tell you that. Things are spinning. And I don't want them to spin until I'm ready for them to spin, but they're spinning right now because. This one's going okay. This one with all the springs on it and whatnot. Kick down, you know. So we're going from a Holly to an Edelbrock. Now, let's just hope that things are gonna work goodish, or I'm gonna have to, you know. that. You know what that means. Find one of these. So the day. Yeah, mine. Yeah, that's something. It's a lot of You might need a rent, half inch wrench on some of these. They're not just the socket. So now I'm going to take these off nice and easy. But Tina Turner was said, we don't do things nice and easy. But here at the uh, in the shop, I try. All right, so that one's off. I'm gonna put that back on here because Lord knows because of who Clyde is. I'm just gonna keep dropping it. All I wanna to do today is get it set up. You know, maybe bolt it down, I don't know, but I don't know if we're gonna, you know, it's gonna depend. Depend on how we're feeling. Okay. So now we're going to get our favorite flat tip screwdriver. And I'm also going to try to break my dust pan. Hey, I've heard a few things about uh, Dude Bro. That uh, he wasn't, wasn't your favorite guest we've had. But I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it, we tried. We, we tried to branch out, you know. It was an experience, wasn't it? All right, so we got that. We're gonna get, there's some clamps. So we gotta find some hose clamp pliers. And I'll tell you what, who sent us some hose? We have some, don't we? Mm -hmm. Where do we put them? I think they're over here. Let's look in the, Got some hose clamp pliers right there. Ryan Motor Tech's gonna help us out today. Long reach hose clamp pliers for one 31 Model A coupe that everybody loves, named, yeah, that guy. That guy named Clyde. 
Okay, so let's see which ones we're gonna need, huh? We're gonna, I think this is the one we're gonna need, right? Right here. Back there. Ow, ow. You know, Bonnie's tires are not what you'd call uh, soft. Hey now, <laughs> Clyde, stupid, this car, well, this clamp isn't even working. It's like three clamps, but they're all broken. <laughs> okay, well, you know what, the Ryan Motor Tech, we didn't need your flyers, but you know. Got a gas line here. We're just gonna undo her. We'll not use a 45 foot clamp on uh, Clyde this time on the fuel line. Oh yeah, that fuel line's done. Clyde. You know what, I'm gonna have to get a clamp to clamp that off. Why don't you guys enjoy what you're looking at here? Your best friend, Clyde. Everyone loves Clyde. Clyde. In case you're wondering, that's Clyde's theme song. It's called, that's right, Clyde. I'm gonna just pitch that bad man pajama off. I need a smaller one. That one's I don't like that. I think I might like this one better. Oh yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy. <clears throat> well, we got a, a leak. I'm trying to think if there's anything that's not leaking on this turn lately. Oh yeah, now we gotta get this up there. Okay. <laughs> Not a three eighths. Right there. Where's that? Oh, that's three eighths. Where are you guys on that one? I thought you were helping me. Oh. I'm not sure what is going on here. Seriously? What's going on back there? There's a flat tip. Right there. Maybe we can, you know. Drama Queen. Right here. Yeah. Actually, no, this is hopefully this will help old Clyde out here. Because I would like to have it work a little bit, you know. Because it would be nice if I could drive this stupid thing. You know. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay. Well, you guys can look at more of Clyde. He's your best friend. He's not my friend right now. We're gonna try, we got a 7 16 so maybe it's a little bit bigger and I can hold the back part down like that. Oh yeah, here, look at that.
you ever have one of those days when you're just like, you know, <laughs> yeah. If you're wondering, that was my, yep, Clyde, I know you're going to be a problem today, aren't you? Yeah. I might end up having to do here. I got, okay, maybe. I don't want to do anything that's going to cause more of a problem, even though it's a problem. Maybe what I can do is do this. Yeah, hey, there we go. Now we're cooking. Uh, well, for Clyde, it would be automatic transmission fluid, right? Because he's got a bunch of it coming out of everywhere. Now, part of the problem, I think, is that I haven't run it. And so the torque converter might be emptying a little bit too, so we might have a problem that way. I had a 83 C10 long box. Man, that, I should have kept that truck too. That would have been a perfect shop truck for us. Um, that actually had a 700 R4, and uh, that emptied its fuel all over the garage floor. Or not fuel, but uh, what do we call it? Transmission fluid all over the floor because... I uh, hadn't run it. A mechanic friend of mine told me about that after after it was too late. All right, so now that that's back on there, I'm gonna go over here where you get the carburetor, the new carburetor, down. And we're gonna take a peek at it. See you in a second. Okay, so now, have I shown, I, show, I think I showed you guys these, didn't I? The special members only stickers, they're, I only ordered these. There's four, and there's members. I'm not ordering them again. One of a kind. The only way I'll do it is if I if we get more members. So, now this is what you would call a uh, generic equivalent of what we have. Oh, also we need to take our choke wires off because we need to right right i'm not changing anything other than i'm testing the fit and i'm doing that it came with you know some okay stuff now anybody got a shop shears or anything hey look at that you know what let's try these guys no, it's not gonna. Oh, it's sharp. Cut that rubber band. Oh, cool. Put this right over the top of it, like that. It goes just like this. It goes just like this on the car. Okay? Just like that. So, now, it smells early, oily. What the? That was me stepping on things. Yes. All right, I did break them loose because, look, you guys watch me ride the struggle bus too much with this turd, so. Mm hmm Yep. So, here we go. One carburetor coming up. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to get a uh, magnetic tray. And while you're looking at Clyde, and hopefully you're giving him a pep talk of please don't be a jerk, just do what you're supposed to do for once. Just one time. That's all I want. One, one time. Okay? Pep talk, Clyde. Let's feel the good vibes out there. Okay, let's feel the vibes, people. Let's get them out there. Now we have new bolts, we have new hardware, we have new, oh, we have new gas smell.
Okay. Now, there's a washer here. You have to take that off, right? We don't want any of this stuff falling down the intake. Okay. Now I hope What we got? What we got? What's going on here? What's happening? There we go. Now, I'm hopeful. This is going to come off. I'm going to bring it back so you can watch the struggle bus. You guys see okay? I'm going to sit right here and climb this tire. Okay, we got Clyde's Holly carburetor off. Now, it's got fuel in it. That's fun, huh? I got gas. Let's put it somewhere. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, cardboard box here with some plastic. That'll be fine until I can recycle that fuel into my gas can. Now, Be hopeful, kids. Be hopeful. Okay. Not feeling very. I think I might have to take it to the spacer if I don't have one. That looks, oh, no, nope, that's a square one for a spread bar. Yeah, well, I think we're good. Let me see. Yep, we're good. Golden, like, a sh retriever. Yep, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that down. Now, yes. Moment of whatever truth, you no know, rage, probably. Why not? Maybe we're going to need just a little taparoo here. Or maybe we're going to have to get a different spacer, I don't know. Hey, what's going on? They're just the, the bolts are sticky. By sticky, I mean I don't want is why I wanted to test with this thing first okay it's on there but you can see that's not gonna do it it's not gonna do it that's okay I don't see how hard it is to wiggle itself out of here oh that's not too bad okay I feel okay yep yeah that's all we'll just have to get some longer bolts and besides Nope, didn't come with the bolts. But that's okay, we can go to O'Reilly's and we'll make a... Oh, 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 O'Reilly's! Oh, oh, parts! Ah! I know, I know. I should not quit my county job for singing. Yeah. 
So we're going to cover that back up. Now we're just plugging the hole. I just wanted to see how it looks. You guys want to see how stupid that air cleaner looks? Okay. Very got loud. I hope it doesn't fit. Oh, well, because I have this stupid thing, don't I? Oh, yeah. That will fit. It fits up there. Oh, sorry. You guys see that okay? Yeah, I mean, let's face it, we're we're doing okay. We got plus or minus or mark nice. I just throw my glasses on to see them. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this back over there. And uh we're gonna have to wait another day. Or two. I'm only trying to get to O'Reilly's, I guess, is the thing. Clyde's get closer. No, I mean, hopefully it won't be too bad. I mean, I probably could, but I won't. Um, take it back out often. But I gotta get these. I gotta get these studs, longer studs, because I don't. I don't have. The right ones and actually they weren't super tight on the carburetor to begin with on Clyde's old one there um, that could be a problem too but you know what let's face it it didn't need 600 or whatever CFM on that one I will find that number and tell you but this is what we're gonna be looking at right here oh hey look at that not this but that's what we're gonna be doing now of course, my fuel line's back here, right? So I'm gonna have to, you know, get her or get one of those kits that runs it down here so I can, you know, like that. And besides, I think I wanna put, I gotta clean this stuff up anyway. And this stuff in down there is gonna be kinda of messy. But now we have that. Are you, are you not entertained? Anybody know what movie that's from? That's right, Gladiator. Now, there's one other thing that we, by we I mean me, because remember we were gonna put uh, headers. Mufflers in the header. So, yeah. Now, as much as I love these, and I do, I'm not kidding you, I, I like these, I think they look great. The problem is that turnouts and a muffler are gonna cost me more than new headers. That I can get it down and you know run them back here so it'll get the noise out and turned out. Which I don't care about running over headers, I don't, I don't mind that at all. But it's just too loud in there, you know? But uh, you know what, let's, Let's have you drink it all in. Hold on a second. Now, as you can tell, that's Clyde, right there. Hold on. Look at this. Yes, there's two. Ha there's hammer on Clyde. See, there he is. Yep. Ow, right in the leg. I don't know why the cars don't like me today. I'm running into all three of them now. There he is. Right there. I'm hoping that'll work for it. Now, Edelbrock is not my favorite carburetor or that style of carburetor, but I know they're easy or to fiddle with for, I don't have a whole lot of experience with them. <clears throat> Excuse me, with carburetors. I mean, I've a few, but not, not very many uh, in the past few years. So I have an Edelbrock on, on Bonnie. So that's a 650, but that one is a 500. Now it'll choke, it'll, mellower out just to tickle or seven so that's cool now i do intend on changing out those valve covers and the uh, air cleaner because i don't like them and i think i could get a better look i don't want to but i might have to i gotta get some spark plug wires because they're trash i gotta 
see why this has got goop there. I got goop there. This one might have to go outside. Cover up that engine and run her outside and put, put this one right here, come springtime. Get that out. I'll cover the whole front end. I'll cover it, put some rollers on it, and we'll just Maybe we'll have to wait. Cause this thing's gonna need some help. We gotta get underneath it. We still have some stuff to do on the girl too. So anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Yow! See? It's not too bad. The scoop is still gross. Alright. Okay, kids. We worked on Clyde. Is everybody happy a little bit? Let me see. Oh, everybody's happy. Yep, everybody. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Clyde, I know that you guys have been wanting to see it, so I, I thought I would just kind of get after it. And you know, frankly, might have to wait. Might have to wait realistic thing this might just end up on rollers and outside and this is gonna have to be the one Bonnie will go over here Clyde will stay right there and we'll work on it let me know what you guys think should we pause on plan B and just get Clyde ready to go get that interior looking better get get the things done that Clyde needs done and get him to like 74% so we can drive him because right now he's about 63 you know Maybe a D plus, maybe. I mean, I want to get him to like a C minus to C plus somewhere in there. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the little carburetor work we did. I, I promise I'm not gonna just let it sit there like that, like this. We're gonna get that going because I want to hear this pig run. And I know you do too. So uh, thanks everybody. Keep on ranching, have a great day.